this is Gary LaRude. I am the technical editor of Microwave Journal, and it's a pleasure to be with Jim Cable, the CEO of Peregrine Semiconductor, at the kickoff of IMS 2015. Jim, in December, the deal with Murata closed. Peregrine is now part of Murata. What's changed and what's the same since then? So I would say that what's changed is that we're now part of a almost $10 billion company. So we've overnight we've achieved incredible scale. Uh, so that's what's changed. In terms of what's the same, you know, Murata is investing in Peregrine. Every aspect of our business they're investing in. You know, from what we're doing in mobile to what we're doing in what we call HPA, with high performance analog. It's just been a wonderful experience. Um, you know, I kind of, uh, I, I expected it would be great because we have 10 years of experience with Murata, uh, but it's actually exceeded my expectations. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just been fantastic, so. So fair to say it's like being a startup, but with the backing of a big company? Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, I like to say, and I, I suspect you'll see this video, so I better be a little bit careful about what I say here, but my boss is 8,000 miles away, and he basically trusts me to run the company. Mm. And so it's like we're a wholly owned subsidiary of the company. It's like everything is the same. Culturally, the company culture, everything about us is the same but we have the backing of a, you know, a $10 billion company. It's Wonderful. fantastic. That's great. You see our signs here, we're hiring, it's, we're growing, it's just, it's, it's, it's the best of both worlds. So tell us a little bit about what's, what you're displaying here, what so products you're featuring. We've got four demos here, and I, we're displaying them at different times. So you can see here we've got what we call MPAC, mm -hmm. which is our, uh, phase and amplitude controller for primarily for Doherty amplifiers for base stations. We've got our DC switch, which I think is what we're displaying right now at the present time. We've got a schedule here. We've got uh, some high frequency stuff we're showing. Uh, really, really some compelling demos here. Um, and again, I think that what's interesting is, you know, most people think, most people in the U.S. don't understand Murata. I mean, it's, it's not really a household name, and it's because they really haven't tried to brand themselves that much here. But there's not a single consumer electronic device anywhere in the world that doesn't have a Murata component in it. Capacitors, inductors, etc. And now with us, they're bringing sort of the active piece of that. And, uh, you know, you, you see that, you know, we were the guys that really pioneered the whole idea of RF with right. SOI. Right. And you can see from, you know, our competitors here, uh, other people have widely adopted that idea, but we're still way out in front of everybody else in that regard. And we're showing some products that, frankly, three years ago, if you had told me some of these products were possible, I wouldn't have believed it myself. Right. And, you know, it's amazing. And now you have them. The breakthroughs that this company continues to do is just stunning, which is why it's so exciting to be a part of it. So one of your key thrusts has been more on the handset side, trying to do an ultra CMOS front end. Yeah. How's that work coming? So, you know, I mean, so if you look at Peregrine as a company, we're about 70% of our business is mobile. Mm -hmm. About 30% is what we, what we call HPA. Um, you know, I mean, smartphones get a lot of press. It's exciting, you know, we're in all the greatest gadgets that are out there, you know, and you know, it will continue to be a huge focus for us because, you know, frankly, if you look at Murata as a parent company, you know, they have a very strong smartphone business as well. So we pioneered the idea of RFSOI for switches, RFSOI for tuning devices, and with our Global One, it's, you know, RFSOI right. for PAs. Right. Um, so that, that initiative is, you know, cranking at full steam. Um, and, you know, we showed at uh, Mobile World Congress this year the Global One PA. We, we demoed it, we demo demonstrated the capabilities, and people were frankly stunned, you know, that you're getting gallium arsenide performance in a CMOS from device, CMOS. but with the benefits that you can get from CMOS, right. and including Global One is about tuning you can tune mm -hmm. the, the PA output, and you can do lots of things with that. Tuning duplex or mismatch, et cetera, et cetera. 
So, you know, mobile will continue to be a huge business for us. Um, of course, this show is, is right. kind of less mobile focused. Infrastructure. So, infrastructure focused. So, infrastructure, uh, wired, wireless, uh, some defense. I mean, Peregrine is probably about 10% defense. Really a relatively small business. Right. I wish it would grow. Uh, but, uh, you know, this is a place to showcase some just amazing performance. Well, it sounds like you've got a bright future ahead of you, given both the infrastructure, defense, and mobile pieces. So we wish you well yeah. and hope the show is a good one for you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, the future is really bright. I mean, I think that, you know, a lot of people, you know, when we announced the Murata acquisition, um, I, I would say the, the bias or the, you know, people believe that a big Japanese company buying kind of a small U.S. technology company that they're going to come in, they're going to ste you know, swoop all the technology out mm -hmm. and leave just sort of a shell of a company. And, and I told people at the time that we announced this back in August that, uh, you know, it's just going to be different. Well, why do you think that? I said, because I know the Murata guys. We've worked with them for 10 years. For they years. invested in us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're connected at the highest executive level there. And I said, they're going to invest in us. They're going to grow the company. And uh, that's what we're doing. I mean, we're going to add people. We're, we're, we had to just buy a new, you know, we rented a new building in San Diego to, to deal with the expansion that we're having. No, I mean, Murata wants our footprint to grow. So we're actually growing the facility in San Diego to accommodate that. So it's like, like you say, it's like startup culture, right. but with the backing of you know, some guy who has a balance sheet that I never had, <laughs> and it's like right. it, incredible. Yeah. I mean, and it's like, so people ask me, oh, like, you know, Jim, you, you, know, you, you took the company public, now mm -hmm. you sold it, what, what are you gonna do for your next gig? I'm going to continue stay to here. stay here and grow this company to fulfill the potential that we have. Beautiful. It's so exciting. Beautiful. I mean, can you tell? Yeah, I can I mean, tell. I mean, I have so much passion for what we're doing. It's yeah. so exciting. Well, Jim, thank you for spending some time with us from the International Microwave Symposium, Gary LaRue at the Peregrine booth. Great. Thank you, Gary. All right.